a land of stone and sky, sage and pine, vast, ancient, and, for the people who have lived here for a thousand generations, this is holy land. This is a very sacred place, a uh, place of our beginning. That mountain right back here is very significant to us in our medicine. Now much of this land surrounding the Grand Canyon will be preserved permanently off limits to mining, drilling, and other development. Today I'm proud to use my authority under the Antiquities Act to protect one, almost one million acres of public land around Grand Canyon National Park as a new national monument. President Joe Biden designated 4,000 square kilometers as a national monument, a power that presidents wield without congressional approval. Native American leaders pressed for years to protect ancestral lands outside their reservation boundaries. The tribes are particularly concerned about uranium mining, which, they believe, would contaminate their drinking water and flow into the Colorado River. Mining interests denounced Biden's action. They say it kills jobs and increases U.S. reliance on foreign sources of uranium, including Russia. There are political calculations at work also. Biden barely beat Donald Trump here in Arizona in 2020. Native American voters were crucial to that victory, and Biden wants to keep their support in next year's election. Biden noted the long struggle by Native people against uranium extraction. They fought for decades to be able to return to these lands, to protect these lands from mining and development. For Havasupai elder Diana White Dove Ukwala, the new monument honors those who fought for it but didn't live to see this day. For them, I hold my hands up high because it was them that gave me the courage to be able to speak and stand for this place. A sacred land now finally preserved. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Red Butte, Arizona.